Hello, I'm Dr. Shrija Karan. I'm a gynecologist, obstetrician and a fertility expert practicing in Rainbow Hospital, Sarjapur Road. Today in this video, I'm going to address a very commonly asked question. What is IVF? When should it be done? And what all does it involve? So IVF or uh, what we understand as test tube baby is basically an advanced fertility treatment which is offered to couples who have been uh, unable to conceive after one year of trying and they've been diagnosed uh, as a condition with, uh, with condition uh, like severe male factor infertility or something called as endometriosis, bilateral fallopian tube blocked or uh, advanced maternal age or some women who have diminished ovarian reserve. It is also a treatment which is offered to couples who do not have any uh, major uh, factor and it, this condition is called as unexplained infertility and sometimes when other treatments fail this could be another option. So uh, coming to IVF, it basically involves uh, uh, giving injections to the lady to stimulate her ovaries and produce more and more eggs. So it involves two phases, first phase being the ovarian stimulation wherein uh, the lady receives injections for around 10 to 12 days depending on various factors like her age, her egg reserve, etc. And then uh, once uh, she uh, is ready, once we feel that her ovaries have produced enough eggs and they're all mature, then she, is, uh, she undergoes a procedure called as ovum pickup or it's called oocyte retrieval which is done uh, through uh, transvaginal scans. And this procedure is basically a daycare procedure wherein uh, the eggs are removed from the ovaries using a fine needle and then uh, with, with the partner's sperms, these uh, eggs are fertilized. After fertilization, the embryos are grown in the lab in optimal conditions for around three to five days. And then ultimately we know what, how many embryos and what quality of embryos we have in our hands. And after this, the embryo transfer procedure is done, which is the second phase. So it can happen in the same cycle or it can happen in the subsequent cycle, again, depending on the woman's response. So in the embryo transfer cycle, the lining of the uterus is prepared using uh, some tablets or sometimes injections. And then when uh, the endometrium or the uterine lining is ready, then we do the process of embryo transfer. So in this, uh, the embryo is transferred using a very fine catheter inside the uterus and this is done under scan guidance. So uh, once the procedure is done, then we wait for the pregnancy test to be done after 10, uh, 12 to 14 days and then uh, the blood test is done. So the entire process involves a span of two to three weeks and the success rate happens to be around 30 to 50 percent, which again depends on the age of the partner, both the partners and the egg reserve and the quality of the eggs and the sperms. So this is all about IVF and thank you.